Hello everyone, welcome to the new episode of Touch Design Tutorials. In this video, we are going to do multiple feedback loops to create this generative visual. Bring a noise from top. Set the period to 2. Harmonic spread on 0 0.8 and exponent on 0 0.48. Turn off monochrome. In transform, translate C, write apps time dot second, multiple to 0 0.2 to create an animation for our nose. Let's make a copy of our noise. But before that, we need to set the resolution. I go to chop, I bring a constant, change the name to res, and here you can set the resolution. I put it on 1280. Now I use this channel for my resolution in both nodes. In the second nose, Lower down the period to 0 0.8. Put the harmonic spreads on 2. And turn on the monochrome and set the exponent to 1 again. Now, from top, bring a circle. Set the resolution to the same number. Now bring a displace from top and connect the circle and the noise to the displace. In displace, in displace weight, we want to lower down the weight. Put it on 0 0.02. Now we have a circle that has a animated edge, noisy edge, something. Bring an edge from top. Put the strength on 1.3. But before that, we add a composite and connect the first noise to it. So our circle have the color and now our edge is also with more detail. Now bring the feedback from top. Add a level after feedback. Go to post. In opacity, put it on 0 0.95. Bring a composite from top and connect the first composite to this one. 
try to decompose it inside your food bag. And change the operation of the composite to add. Now let's connect the edge to the feedback loop. Now this is what we have. Add another edge after the first edge. Change the sum to 10. Bring another composite from top. Connect the feedback loop and edge and put the operation on maximum. Now we start another feedback loop. After feedback, bring a level. And the composite from top. Connect the previous composite to the new one I change it to maximum and drop it on the feedback I bring a null from top, turn on the display. And here I turn off backdrop tops. Now in the last feedback loop, in the level, we go to post opacity and we put it on 0.9. After feedback, I add an edge. I put the black level on 0 0.17 and I leave this went on 1. Let's change the color. First channel is 0.35, second one is 0 0.71, and now we have this color. Bring a baller from top and connect the edge to the baller. Change the pre shrink to 2 and filter size to 12. Now we add an edge. Change the edge color to yellow. Add a composite from top.
change the operation to difference. Now here, I connect the edge to the last node and I connect the beller and the level from feedback loop to the new composite. So this is what we got. Now let's make another feedback loop. Bring a feedback. Level. Change the opacity of the level to 0 0.915. It's a very random number. Bring a composite from top and drop the composite and our feedback and change the operation to maximum. Now we have the effect of the yellow color. Bring and add from top. Now here I can connect this directly to my add, but I bring a select from top and I drop the first composite on the select so it's easy to use it and I connect it to add. Now let's go back to the first feedback loop. Here, after level, I add a transform. And in rotate, I change it to full. And we can change the scale too. We lower down the scale to 0 0.98. You can also change the scale to a higher number, 1.01. But I will keep it on 0 0.98. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.